It's Ben Sorensen here, and you're listening to Ben Sorensen's Real Country. Hey, if you want to grab a podcast of this interview, you can check it out with a whole heap of other fun stuff at www.realcountrymix.com. And today I'm lucky enough to be joined by the one and only Pete Dennehy. G'day, buddy. How you doing? Oh, very well, thanks, Ben. Oh, that's good. What's new in your world? Well, beautiful autumn day here, and i um, uh, got a few jobs to do this afternoon, and I've got... Nice. Yeah, yeah, I've got to sort of put in mind to um, a bit of cleaning up out in the backyard, which is something I've been putting off for, oh, I've been putting it off for about eight or nine months. So. Now, you've been doing really well with your uh, your fantastic album picture in a frame, which uh, I know was released a little while back, but I haven't had a chat to you since then. Yeah, it's, uh, it's had an interesting sort of a journey, I guess, that album... It's essentially a straight album, but the song that got the most attention off it was a comedy song. So um, that's probably something I should stop doing. It's just bunging a comedy song right in the middle of a whole heap of other songs that have nothing, <laughs> that are nothing like that. Well, um, that's one of the things that I found with you. Is you've got a, a, a wicked sense of humour, and you've also got that straight side as well. Is, is that a bit of a challenge for you as a, as a musician and performer? It'll be, it's probably a bit confusing sometimes too, Ben. Um, the next project I'm writing for is comedy. Um, I've been uh, doing a little bit of research. Sort of done on nothing. Are you sick of that song yet? Uh, <laughs> no, of course I'm not. <laughs> uh, no, it, oh, it's, it's a funny thing with songs like that. It, any of those um, silly songs, they sort of... Uh, they're always good fun to play to people who haven't heard them before. Yep. Um, and look, that... No, I'm not sick of singing. There have been times when people have wanted me to do it again after I've already done it once in the night. And I don't like doing that. No. Um, I did it in front of a just an impromptu thing I was comparing. It. And that's a good fun gig because you just sort of walk out and say, Oh... Later on, we're going to have the living end on stage. Oh, the crowd goes, thousands of people go mad. And there's a little part of you thinking, oh, they're nuts for me, but they're not, you know. Yeah. But I got out there to that crowd and sang Sort of Don't Know Nothing, just on my own with a guitar, and they were all singing it back to me, which was, I could take more of that. It depends on the night. Um, you know, I've got, I've got other songs Ben and I've been doing for years, and I still, I still enjoy doing them. Um, if people are getting a chuckle out of it, it's, uh, that's the best reward you can get. Uh, I reckon so. And I'll tell you what, I, I wish some of my interviews and videos got uh, 400,000 hits on YouTube. Yeah, well, just keep working at it, Ben, you know. I can only click so many times in a day, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. No, um, well, mine's just gone up to a bit over half a mil. Wow. And, of course, I've got other videos on my channel that don't go anywhere near that. I find YouTube an extremely handy thing for other things too, just like um, just as reference points, looking at other people's acts. Uh, I use it mainly for looking at stupid things that people do. Yeah, entertainment. I mean, we've sat there and you know looked up different acts that, that are very, very funny and, and just musical things too. Um, it's good for... I've downloaded a heap of Japanese language lessons. Um, How's that going for you? Yeah, well, I don't do it as much as I should, but... Um, yeah, it's going because I'm half Japanese, you see, and oh, I'm okay. over there at some points. And, you know, even musical lessons you can find on YouTube that are handy. Wow, I didn't know that because, you know... Oh, you look up bluegrass flat picking lesson or... I'll, I'll have to do that because, you know, I've always wanted to do bluegrass flat picking. The thing you've got to be careful of is that any time Dick and Harry can put up a lesson on the thing so you <laughs> sort of sift through the crap. Yeah. Yeah, there's some good stuff there. But, you know what, if I, if I didn't have to sit there and sift through the crap, really, I'd have to get out in the real world and have a life. I guess so. Well, you know, it's all it's all good, and hopefully, because we've mentioned YouTube enough, when I put this on YouTube, we'll get more hits. So, what else? What else is going on for you? You've got this fantastic tour that you're doing uh, with James and Beck. Yep. Um, have you done much work with them before? No, actually. Well, since November, I've been working with them with this show. But before that, I did I did a handful of things with James, but I hadn't met met Beck before. Okay. Um, and you've got some uh, mass, oh, quite a few dates uh, all over this. Well, uh, all over two states, really. Is it two states? Uh, no. Well, the next run is pretty much just Queensland going up. I think we start at Mount Gildy or Bundaberg and then up the coast to uh, Cairns. Oh wow! So that's the next run. Mm. And um, yeah, have a squeeze on MySpace or my my uh, website, it's just peterdennehy.com. Or, or, or MySpace. We might finish off the interview with your song, Sort of Done Enough, and can you tell us a bit about it? It came at the end of a period of writer's block, um, born out of boredom, and um, 
that's, if I didn't have the writer's block, the song wouldn't have come about. I, I suppose one little thing about the song, the actual guitar riff in it was um, that bit I had floating around probably for about six or eight months. I just I'd pick up a guitar because it's I played it. I recorded it in um, Dad Gad tuning, which is D A D G A D, mm. like a more of a folky old timey tuning. And um, I had this, that riff, and I was it was going to be a fiddle tune, and I was sort of starting to learn that. Well, starting to play it on the fiddle as well. Mm. And then when I had the idea for the song, I went in and I just put a chord progression to the words. It took me like ten minutes to write out, and then. And then I thought, all right, I just I want some glue, or I wanted just a bit of a starter that people are going to hopefully recognise when I when I start singing the song somewhere. And I thought, oh well, I'll use that. I'll use my fiddle tune. Well, we're going to play it now. Thank you so much for your time, Pete Day. No worries, mate. See you later. See ya. How have you been? Good. How's your dog? Good. How's college going? Good. All hunky dory? Yep. You going out tonight? Yep. You gonna see your friends? Yep. You gonna have a good catch up? Yep. Well, that should be great. Yep. Where'd you go? Nowhere. Who'd you see? No one. What'd you do? Nothing. Did you have a good time? Yep. What's on tonight? Nothing. You're not seeing your mates? No. You're just staying at home? Yep. What do you do? Nothing. Yep, yep, nothing, nothing, sort of, dunno, nowhere good, yep, no, dunno, no one, sort of, dunno, nothing. You feeling alright? Yep. How's your ankle? Good. When's your exam? Dunno. Have you done much study? No. What's on tomorrow? Dunno. You playing footy? Dunno. You enjoying footy? Sort of. Sort of, eh? Yep. Yep, yep, nothing, nothing, sort of, don't I know, we're good, yep, no, don't I know, one sort of, don't I know. How's your girlfriend? Good. She away this week? Yep. Oh, you must be missing her? Yep. Have you rung her yet? No. Well, I'll catch you later. Yep. Don't get too stressed. No. What's on tomorrow? What? What's on tomorrow? Nothing. Yep, yep, nothing, nothing, sort of, don't I know, we're good, yep, no, don't I know, one sort of, don't I nothing, yep, yep, nothing, nothing, sort of, don't I know, we're good, yep, no, don't I know. Thank you very much. And thank you, Compass. Are we right, Ted?